For this administration, peace through strength is more than a policy. It's a promise, a promise we've made to the people and a promise we intend to keep. It was a unique assignment at a unique time. The Soviets built up a large conventional force that was shielded by a large integrated air defense network that they thought to be impenetrable. Stealth technology represented by the 117 represented a breakthrough to get through that shield and show the Soviets that they could hold targets at risk inside that shield of integrated air defense. So it went from emboldened to deterred. It was an important part of conventional deterrence in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. When I interviewed for the job, I didn't know what kind of airplane I was going to fly or what I was going to do. The airplane was classified when I first went to it, so it was shrouded within the, the black secret uh, classified world. Didn't know what we were going to do. I believe it stands today as the greatest secret our nation has ever kept. For nine years, pilots, maintainers, contractors would gather at a small airport in North Las Vegas, and every Sunday afternoon, they'd quietly fly north to Tonopah Airfield, only to return home to their families on Friday night. The entire time, families had no idea what mom or dad did or where they were. The arrival of the F-117 changed the calculus of war. The F-117 Nighthawk is the epitome of innovation and successful collaboration between the United States Air Force and industry. It's fitting that we gather here at the Reagan Presidential Library, this metaphoric city on the hill, to unveil the F-117 Nighthawk, a visible reminder of President Reagan's mantra of peace through strength. The F-117 represents the strength of American innovation and the strength of what we can achieve when we work together. The 117 will help educate a new generation of Americans, inspiring young people. Looking at this plane, it is a triumph of aerospace design. And I'm no engineer, but I think the technical term is badass. <laughs>